In this presentation, we will continue taking a look at company preferences, this time concentrating in on items and inventory. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're going to go back to the preferences by selecting the Edit drop down and then going down to the Preferences tab, tab down below. Last time we were on the General. We're now going to be down to the items and inventory items and inventory we have two tabs here the my preferences has nothing in it we want to be in the company preferences now this is going to be an important tab for us because we will be dealing with inventory so if you're dealing with inventory you want to be considering the items and inventory tabs items are going to be related to there's going to be inventory items we will be adding inventory items later you will then become more familiar <laughs> with the term items and as, as and how they can relate to inventory so purchase order and inventory inventory purchase orders are active i'm going to go ahead and check that that's not the default setting i'm going to check that the inventory and purchase orders are active so that we can then use the inventory and purchase orders then once done so after you check the first one the next two are the defaults warn about duplicate purchase order numbers once again, the purchase orders will be basically numbered through the system. If there's a duplicate number, it's nice as an internal control to have a warning about it. Then we have we have uh, warn if not enough inventory quantity on hand. So if we're using QuickBooks to actually track the units of inventory that we have on hand, then it'll basically tell us and give us a warning if there's not enough inventory on hand. That's a useful default to have. And so that's what we're going to be including there. Make sure to turn those on. If, the, if you don't, then you may see some items that will go through in the future as we set up inventory items that aren't, aren't able to be done. And if that is the case, then you'll just have to go back into the preference tab here and check off these items for the inventory uh, items and inventory items. I'm going to now say OK. And then it's going to say QuickBooks uh, must close all open windows. So I'm going to say OK. And we're going to save those uh, that change. 